Thank you, Aponatura, for the morning coffee. I think my plan today is to drink lots of coffee and to swim a lot as well. Yeah, so let's go have a swim. So yesterday I was down here to kind of answer the question about what was the favorite part of my job and as much as you may think it's the hotel rooms and the jacuzzis and the swimming pools which by the way this hotel has awesome swimming pools this is one of two swimming pools in this hotel which are just amazing um, and no it's not all the good life my favorite part of my job is meeting people uh, the missions the creativity that i can have on my day-to-day -day basis uh, as well as a little bit of being outside catching lots of sun taking my time and just enjoying Madeira and enjoying my job already which is meeting people and, and helping people share incredible memories that's the favorite part of my job and by far the easiest as well so yeah i'm gonna have a little swim and then it's time for breakfast actually i think i've got sauna first yeah i've got sauna first and then breakfast stick around i'm gonna show you a little bit about what to use today If you haven't noticed, we're answering questions uh, on this particular vlog and one of them is about long-term stays in Funchal or in Santa Cruz. What I recommend is for you to do your homework online and look for your ideal place or something that you like. And then I would speak to various real estate agents because the prices that are online are very different to the prices that are in real life in Madeira. Many times the price is a little bit inflated so that you can deal with uh, some kind of discount or something like that. Plus it doesn't hurt to negotiate every time I'm looking for a place or at least the last few times I've been looking for a place, I've negotiated everything. Um, probably if you're gonna be staying for a couple of months, I would say find an Airbnb for maybe three weeks or a couple of Airbnbs for a couple of weeks until you find that right apartment that's gonna keep you for like a couple of months. Uh, five months or six months or anything longer than that and yeah that's that's about it so coffee's great breakfast is incredible this hotel is just absolutely mad
Huh? What happened to the music? Ah, there's some, some the salsa, salsa jam, salsa jam. Ooh, yeah. So this button over here controls the music. Can you see yeah. Let's get out of here. What do you think of the hotel? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Good. It's up to your high standards. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Uh-huh. The room is nice? Oh, yeah. Should we give them the room tour? Yeah. Cool. Let's do the room tour now. Luckily the hotel was nice enough to let us stick around and swim in the pool a little bit and enjoy this amazing view and the epic pool and we're just having a couple of cocktails and we're probably gonna have a light lunch over here. The original plan was to answer uh, a question about how busy it is in Madeira at the moment and the original plan, oh my god there's three little mini buses. I don't know if you can see that. But the original plan was to take you out and show you around Porto Muniz and see the traffic. But we're having such a good time here. We're so comfortable at the hotel that I really don't feel like doing that because uh, I'd like to have a, a little bit of a swim. I'd like to, um, of course, have some lunch and have a drink or two with the, with the people before we go back to Funchal. We end the whole big walk adventure and go on to our next uh, mission. So what I am going to do for you is I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to try from the rooftop to try and show you how busy it is. And the first sign that Porto Manige is busy is when you see on the, the, the dock here, on the pier, when you see buses on the pier, that's when you know that Porto Manige is busy. If you're driving into Porto Manige and you see that, then you know it's busy. And I used to do this game when we used to stop at the viewpoints up at the top to count how many buses there were. It was usually a Wednesday that was uh, like Porto Manige day and it was full of buses. And uh, right now it kind of is like that, finding parking around uh, any time between 1 and 3 is a mission. Um, people are parked in all sorts of places. The restaurants are full, the pools are full, everything is full at the moment. It is the end of August, so it is kind of normal and uh, of course you're gonna experience something very similar. So if you are coming to Porto Muniz around the end of August, and if September is as busy as August was September and October, then you wanna come to Porto Muniz in the morning, right? The best thing you can do is open up the webcams. If you go onto Google and you hit Madeira webcams, you can open up the webcams and you can see what the weather is like in Porto Manige, if you look at the Ponta Delgada webcam, if it's blue skies, then you know it's good. You come in the morning or you come late sunset and you'll be avoiding the crowds in Porto Manige. Let's go and see the other side of the rooftop. So there you go. One, two, three mini bus, uh, three buses. There's a mini bus over there just arriving. There's a the mini bus. There's probably more. There's already five here on the ground. So yes, it is busy. And if you're looking for hiking trails, like you asked in the questions, 
then you want to avoid all the popular ones or you want to do them without the peak time so like as early as possible from 8 8 30 to kick off uh, or after 3 p.m but don't stay too late of course with all the relative safety measures in place hiking boots don't go hiking by yourself all of that kind of stuff that being said there's another minibus I think that's all of the questions. Um, Ricardo, you asked if Hugo was single. I mean, I don't think so, but maybe for you, man. Maybe, maybe he'll do something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you to all of you guys who have watched this video and who have enjoyed these videos. I'll see you guys later. I don't think in the last video I got a chance to say thank you to everybody who helped out on the big walk. First of all, Isabel from Lido Tourist, thank you for organizing all of the accommodation and for making sure that everything was perfect. Thank you to Roberto and Marta from Madeira Taxi Transfers for organizing all of the transport around the whole island. Thanks guys, I know it wasn't easy. Uh, big thank you to Pedro, Francisco, Felipe, Juan Carlos and Desiu from the Quinta do Frau Aquanatura team for uh, giving us uh, everything that you gave us and for all of your hospitality. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate all of it. Uh, thank you to, of course, our guests this year, Ruben and Liliana. Uh, thanks for all the awesome shots, for all the awesome publicity and for just being cool people. Uh, thank you to Kate, Ian and Victor for being awesome people for being uh, inspirational and very happy uh, family. And um, of course, can't wait to have you guys back in Madeira. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you to Gonzalo and uh, Paula for uh, coming out here. And um, congratulations on winning this uh, awesome, um, awesome tour as well. Thank you to Luis Gonzalez for the epic piece of glass and machinery that is uh, taking all the awesome photos and videos of this whole tour. Uh, thank you to Hugo, Fernando for uh, holding down the fort as well and hit the road uh, while I was doing the big walk. You guys were awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to all 2000 of our subscribers on YouTube for all of the support, for all the comments uh, and for all the messages and thank yous that I get when I see you guys out and about. Thank you to the thousands of viewers who are watching this vlog and I know it's thousands, so why haven't you guys subscribed yet? That being said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to keep watching all these awesome Madeira videos that are coming your way. Thank you to all of our clients and friends as well at Hit The Road Tours that have been patient with us in the last maybe six weeks ago. It's been real tough. We've been working so, so much. And thank you as well to our families who have been supporting us uh, during the pandemic. And of course, during this time when we've been working like crazy, we haven't seen enough of you guys. And of course, thank you to those who we have been seeing uh, and then finally just a big thank you to anyone that I might have missed out to anybody in the hit the road family and I uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next video don't forget that we're giving off 21% of everything booked on our website until the end of this year that's booked on our website till the end of this year big walk other stuff coming, it's gonna be absolutely epic. We've got loads of good, good ideas for the future and lots of very hopeful products and uh, tours coming in the next couple of months. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, let's hit the road. Uh. Oh. And uh, thank you to Andre and Luis for uh, editing the last uh, three or four and filming, editing and filming the last couple of vlogs. Um, Andre, I know it's been tough. Can't wait to have you back uh, from Ilus Salvajins. And uh, Luis, can't wait to be uh, working more with you as well uh, over the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. 
I'll see you guys next time. But first, let's uh, let's get the music back up in here.